Today's project is another fine example of what not to do. Um, of course, I started out with the best of intentions, um, and things just didn't pan out. I, I put in the effort and didn't get the results. Anyway, I thought I'd show you um, what I did and what I should have done and how it turned out. I started with this piece of drop paper, and I'm just putting different paints on it. These paints are some fabric paint that I got off a clearance rack somewhere. And uh, I'm just putting them on. You know, so far so good. I hadn't, uh, hadn't gone too far yet, but I'm, I'm going to go way too far here shortly. I felt like that the paper was too flimsy when I started putting all that paint on it. So I flipped it over and just gessoed some ripped up phone book pages on the back just to give it a little bit more stability. And um, considering what I end up putting this page through later on, <laughs> I'm really glad I did that. Okay, um, I had collected a bunch of papers. I have a, a drawer that's full of, it's just tissue paper and uh, um, that, you know, really thin paper scraps. So I pulled some things out of there that I thought I might want to use ripped up a paper doily and painted it with some uh, sprays to go on there. So, you know, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm making sense so far. I started off really good um, and I, I just don't know what happened, but it happens. Sometimes it does. Despite your best effort, things just don't always turn out <laughs> and that's okay. You know, when I discovered that this was going bad, my goal was just to get something usable out of it, and I think that I did in the end. So we'll see what you think. Um, I Mod Podged the doily onto my drop paper. I Mod Podged everything, in fact, so if you see me gluing like crazy, that's, that's what it is. It's just Mod Podge. I do tend to use the back of my hand as a, a uh, palette on occasion because I've, you know, I'm always holding my page down with my left hand, so it just makes sense to drop the paint on top of there and <laughs> use it while it's sitting there. <laughs> this is a piece of a paper napkin. I used several of those. And I also use some hand-painted uh, tissue paper. I have quite a bit of this. And it was not painted by my hand. It was done by friends. But um, I use several pieces of it. So it's, it's really pretty. I love that stuff. Then just some pieces of exotic paper, decorative paper. That's a piece of mulberry paper. That's more painted tissue. and another napkin. That piece I got in some happy mail recently. That is just a little piece of fabulousness. That is a candy wrapper. I think the candy was from Moldova, um, if I remember right. And then some of that awesome fibrous lace paper stuff is just my favorite ever. That candy wrapper was irritating me. It wouldn't stick down. That's some more um, napkin pieces, a little bird and a bird cage. I decided to just heat that silly candy wrapper until it stuck, by gosh. I was tired of messing with it. 
yeah, I nearly made a huge mistake there by sticking that little piece on. Thankfully, I came to my senses. Those are little page reinforcement dots that had some paint on them. And that is a piece of dark mulberry paper. That was good right there. That, that looked good. But no, I had to keep going. Okay, I added some more of the paint I used in the background. I just added some little accents here and there. And this actually turned out okay. This wasn't bad. I was okay with it after I did this part. I don't even know why I bother with the brush. I usually just blend it with my finger anyway. And yellow. Yellow makes everything happy. Okay, this is where I should have stopped. Right there. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! She did it. Oh, she did it. I don't know, I had in my head that I wanted some dark outlines on it for some reason. And then after I put them down, I quickly wanted them off of there. So, you know, added water, smudged them off. That was not what I wanted. But you know, all that purple is not going to come off. Some of it soaked in. So I had to put some more on it <laughs> all around the page, you know, to make it look like I did that on purpose. <laughs> Even though it was not what I wanted. But even after I added more of the purple, you know, and then kind of wiped it off, I was still okay with it. And, you know, at that point, I should have stopped again. Yeah, we're good. Stop. Don't do anything else. See, give it a good dry. Let it dry. And that would have been just a fun little collage. But no, I, I don't know why. I thought I wanted everything kind of highlighted with white, but not really highlighted, but just kind of with a little white haze around it. Yeah, okay, that, that just did not pan out. <laughs> Every time I look at that, I crack up. <laughs> what was I thinking? I don't know. I don't know. So then I remembered this, um, I think this is a Tracy Batista technique where she put the paint onto the acetate and brayered it on, but I didn't have the right paint. I think she used a fabric paint. All I had was some black glitter glue. So I tried it. It didn't really work, but it's one of those things where you do it once and you're kind of committed. So I finished it. And the white was really irritating me, so I sprayed it with some hand sanitizer, which has alcohol in it, and just kind of rubbed it down with a handy wipe. And then I still wanted white, so I dropped some on there and started blowing on it with a straw. And then I was really kind of liking that look. So I tried it with some really watery blue acrylic paint. Just dropped it on, blew on it with a straw, and I decided, yeah, I was really liking that too. So then I remembered the, um, uh, tried to do the same technique again, the Tracy Batista thing with that black ink instead of glitter glue, and it, it didn't work. So I took the black ink and channeled Jane Davies and <laughs> just started blowing on it. And finally, I'm really liking it. You know, it's covering up all of my other mistakes. This was making me happy. You will be glad to know that I edited out the part where the spit started dripping out of the end of my straw. <laughs> okay. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> but just a fair warning, that could happen. Not that I'm a, like a drooler or anything, but, you know, it, it just happens. It happens. So I really like the, the black, 
I went back and did kind of the same thing with some white and then after that was dry I went in and just put some did some rubber stamping over the white parts because they were like a little bit too white so I think it turned out okay I, I don't love it but I like it fine it's okay um, so there you go if you create a collage that blows just blow on it <laughs>